<clears throat> Gotta look sharp. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Amy from Band Venture. I am back. Have you missed me? I for sure missed you a lot. Welcome back to another Fountain Pen collection update. And in this one, we have a lot of things to catch up with. Fountain Pens, triple digits collection, my personal collection. Ball points and roller balls, if you believe it. Inks, accessories, and so much more. Wow, it's been a blast. For the past few weeks, I had the time of my life. And uh, for sure, there are some things that I overlooked, like presenting content on my YouTube channel, because, well, Let's put it like this. In the past month, we had eight times the normal order number uh, that we have the average number of orders at Penventure. So it's been a struggle to get everything right and to ship everything. And we are grateful that we could do all of this for everyone and also we hope that everything arrived on your end as good as possible anyway what do i want to showcase in this video first of all it's the fact that my collection of fountain pens grew to triple digits in the previous video i was numbering 98 fountain pens and i already knew that i had some of them coming and uh yeah it's triple digit, is 100 and more so. And what do I want to tell you is that collecting fountain pens shouldn't be about a number. For myself, this number means that I have an extensive collection of writing instruments that I can use as a reference for everyone. I can produce content, I can share my opinions, my ideas, I can inspire from previous fountain pens in order to design new ones. And I tend to call my collection like a sort of library where there are some items that I enjoy using every single day. There are some items that are there as a statement piece. There are some items that are just simply practical and I enjoy to have them around me. And overall, it's just like a reward for me to have this impressive collection of writing instruments that I can share with you in my content. I'm gonna show you the latest two arriving pieces in my personal fountain pen collection. Down below you'll find a list for my entire 98 fountain pens to be 100 today. And for those two fountain pens, you will find them in the uh, list down below of my personal fountain pen collection. Those two fountain pens are the new Nuda Pen Venture exclusive fountain pens. As usual by now, I do collect every single piece of a writing instrument that I design and it's an exclusive to Penventure and for that alone I do like to keep some of these pieces in the company museum maybe one day we will have a, an entire wall a wall of fame with writing instruments that are only exclusive to Penventure what we have here is a rose gold edition with a stub nib and a ruthenium black with a 14 karat gold nib besides this I do have two more Nuda fountain pens. I have one which is the prototype, the one that you've seen in the video review. This is rhodium trim with a steel nib. This is used and uh, it is cleaned, but not that well. It's a beautiful fountain pen and the gold color trim with a gold nib is over at Kerry uh, at Penson T for review and that will get back home soon. So yeah, we moved into triple digits in the regards of my personal fountain pen collection. And uh, I'm super proud of that. It is something that I haven't imagined possible a few years back, but with your support, with your help, and with a very, very strong reason why should I have such a collection, the YouTube channel, pen venture, and everything, I think it is going to be awesome to explore the capabilities of my personal fountain pen collection in regards of producing content. And let's move further because I want to explain something which I don't know that I've said too many times. And it's about ballpoints and the rollerballs. I know that maybe for some of you this uh, 
name shouldn't be put together with phone term pads, but hear me out because both of them are writing instruments and each of them has a specific purpose. Although the ballpoint and rollable at one point in history tried to took over the fountain pen and I do believe that's the reason why so many of us look at rollables and um, ballpoints as being a lower standard in regards of having it side by side a fountain pen but I do believe there are certain things that require a ballpoint or a rollable and for that alone I have some in my collection although I own them I haven't put them in the list down below but I want to share them with you as recently as a few days ago I only had two and these two are two retro 51 a ballpoint and a roll ball with uh, the Apollo theme because I am a huge NASA cosmic space buff and I love the theme behind this two uh, writing instruments a lot and they do have a certain resemblance with a rocket and for me that is a big smile on my face and I wanted to have them. I use this too in order to sign warranties where I need something permanent on a very very uh, shiny paper uh, which a fountain pen shouldn't write properly on so this is why I use these two writing instruments for and recently I stumbled upon something from Sailor and I don't know if you are aware of this but I want to have your opinion and if you think this is cool you maybe just maybe found it soon on our uh, Penventure website and it's this black beauty it is called a quattro pen so let me explain you have basically four individual writing instruments into a simple single pen and uh, I'm going to show you how it looks if we open it there are four ref fills which sit very tight together and we have a red one a blue one a black one and a mechanical pencil brilliant right as I thought uh, this is made by Sailor I haven't seen it listed very very much on Europe I think it looks super super nice a deep satin black color with uh, gunmetal finishes on the trim and right here we have red blue black and the mechanical pencil I have to do some research in order to figure it out how to properly change in between those but anyway imagine the possibility of having three individual colors for a ballpoint and then a mechanical pencil all wrapped up in one single body, one single pen. I think this is brilliant, this quattro pen and I do like to have it on my desk if I'm using the pencil for invoices, if I want to put something in order for the person at my accounting uh, department to track. Let me know if you like this and to actually admit that we have some uses for a ballpoint and a roll ball and uh, writing instruments of that nature. Anyway, moving further, I got this. This is from Sailor. This is a three pan pouch, which I simply believe it's wonderful. This looks very classy and uh, it's made out of soft uh, leather, I think so. Uh, and it holds three individual pans. I have here my Nakaya Dorsalfin V2. I have here my Sailor King of Pan Demonstrator and my Pilot 823. And I have been using this uh, for a number of days in order to carry my fountain pans. And I do find it very, very safe and very, very officey. Very, very cool. Moving further, two new inks I got. It's the Sailor Manio and this is Ume. This is a ink which I received from Catherine at Shakura Fountain Pan Gallery in a sample. And now I acquired one bottle for my personal fountain pan collection. And I have here an ink from Tatcha and this is called Fukaki Hanada. And uh, I don't know the translation of that, but anyway, you can help me out in the comment section down below. Uh, do you want to see how this two inks looks? on the paper mm, let's see i still have some paper right here with me and i'm gonna just use it in order to show you 
a few swabs of this ink and how it looks. I do believe it's a stunning Bordeaux, this Ume, and it has a beautiful, beautiful green gold sheen, which I simply adore. And when it comes to blue-black inks, you know by now that they are some of my favorite ones. And uh, let, let's see how it looks. So this is uh, two dabs. So this is Ume, this beautiful, beautiful Bordeaux color. It's just like a brick color, but it is a little bit lighter. And actually it's a sort of a mix in between red and uh, brown, to say so. And uh, let's move with the other one, the Tatcha one, because I do believe it has something very, very special, this blue-black. It's a little bit lighter and not that saturated, this blue-black. Usually blue-black inks are very, very saturated and actually struggle to find the blue part. And uh, I do believe this one has a lot of potential to be one of the more stunning blue-blacks in a Fondabank collection of uh, inks because it can give you more of the blue and a little bit less of the black. And I do love this a lot. Anyway, this is what happened in the last few days, weeks, and so on with my personal fountain pen collection and with myself. I am back in the saddle. I hope to be more consistent, to have more time to update everyone. And I do hope that uh, in the next few days, I'm gonna showcase a very, very interesting video with big news. And I do think you suspect what it is. I mean, after all, you already started purchasing those items from Pan Venture, and uh, it is big. I'm gonna let uh, everyone find out in my next video uh, what is it. Thank you so much for being so supportive, uh, ordering from Pan Venture. If you're interested to find out what we have in our fountain pen. Uh, store and inventory. You can check the description of this video. I'm gonna leave you the link for our website. There you can find a variety of writing instruments, inks, accessories, anything and everything that you may need. And also you will find our details. If you are interested to find out something regarding our selection, please use the email, phone number, anything that you find there in order to get in contact with us and I will be more than happy to help you all. If you want to support the growth of the Pandventure YouTube channel, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Down below, you will find the entire list of my fountain pen collection, 100 fountain pens, and even more so. If you have any questions regarding fountain pens, and not only that, use the comment section down below. Let me know, share your opinion regarding my content, Pandventure, anything and everything. And I will be there to answer everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the PanVenture Venture YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe right now. Click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about new content, if you want to continue watching my previous videos, I'm going to leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, David from PanVenture, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.